We have just drove up in through these mountains to Baisley Highland Brew Coffee. So we're gonna hopefully see all the coffee beans, try some fresh coffee made up here in the mountains of Dumaguete and not forgetting that we have just drove through the clouds and we are walking through the clouds now. You, you can't even see in front of you where we're even going. The coffee beans is fresh like that. Yeah, that's cool. Has it got a different name, like a certain name? Yeah, uh, the uh, robusta, the variety of the coffee. Robusta, robusta, robusta coffee. Yeah. Okay. Robusta. Can I smell a little bit? Not a smell. No smell. No, no smell. It has absolutely uh, no smell whatsoever. The, the roasting machine. Uh -huh. You see the the smell. Okay. The roasting machine. Ah, it goes to the roasting machine first, yes. then it smells. Yes. After roasting machine, it smells. Okay. okay. So, but the coffee is a lot of time time to process. This is their finished product. Yeah. And it smells absolutely lovely. Very strong smell to it. This guy, 80, very nice guy. He's just showing us around the grounds. He's just showing us the coffee beans that have already been harvested. Now we're off to see the plants. That one is a coffee tree. What, that's the coffee tree? Wow. A lot of coffee, 120 hectares. 120 hectares yes. of coffee, wow. Coffee. This one is the coffee trees. Wow. So start a uh, little flower until December is harvest. Okay. December, this coming December. You wait till December and harvest yes. again, yeah? Yes. How many times a year can you? Once a year. Really? Only yeah. one? Wow. Wow. And is that the, every plant here is in December or do you have different times? Yeah, uh, start December until April. Until April. Yeah. Okay. Harvest. Not together, ripe, separate. Yes, separate. Yes. Oh. So they have different harvest times here. They have from December until April. So that's a long time, pretty much almost a whole year just to wait for one harvest. But here they've got, I think you said, 120 hectares of coffee beans. That's a lot of coffee. Just to put that into perspective for you, that is the equivalent of 224 football fields. Arabica. Oh. Okay, so this is the different type yeah, of different. plant, the Araba, the Arabica. Arabica. The Arabica yeah. plant. That one, the big uh, leaves is robusta. There you go. Okay, so yeah. big leaves robusta, smaller leaves Ara Arabica. Arabica. Yeah. <laughs> Aisy's just informed us that there are a group of local people that live all in the area. There's 80 people and they've formed this community together, which all come here and take care of the coffee plantation together. I'm going to try out some of their fresh coffee. It is all natural. It's not had any products put into growing the plant whatsoever. It's just grown naturally in the mountains. So let's give it a go. Yeah. We've just ordered our coffee, we've got two Americanos and now we've just been told to go upstairs in the viewing platform and they'll serve us up there. So she's just brought the coffee up, we've got two Americanos and it's all naturally organic, freshly made right here in the back garden and it's made from the full coffee bean, like similar to a cacao pod, and obviously they break it, and they do the whole process of obviously creating the coffee bean naturally, uh, so then we can now give it a try. That is, that is a strong coffee. <laughs> that is lovely. That is very nice. Quite hot, so I can't sip too much just yet. We took a slow and peaceful drive down and out of the mountains. We've made it to the beach here in Dumaguete and there's lots of boats here 
and we are just trying to figure out how we can get to that island over there because apparently there's some really big turtles over there and you can do some really cool snorkeling so we're going to figure out how to get over there a few days later we finally made it we're on the boat heading to Apo Island and we're going snorkeling today to hopefully see some cool fish, corals and hopefully some turtles hopefully some turtles Today, good morning. Did you see the size of that turtle? That was enormous and it let me get so close. It was just under there, eating away at the coral, doing its thing, just not bothered by me at all. Let me swim right up to it. We had a 45 minute break and moved the boat round to the other side of the island where hopefully we could see more turtles. So we're getting back in the water, time for snorkel number two. with my pink flippers on. The water is very, very choppy now. I'm by the head. Unfortunately, at this time of GoPro decided to break so that finished our trip and we got back on the boat and headed back to land. With mission successful we've seen turtles and they were enormous. They were um, just yeah amazing. Like Richard said they're the size of your head shot with their, <laughs> their head is the size of my head. Their head was huge and it was just eating the coral. <laughs> but absolutely amazing experience. Brilliant. Yeah. Defo check out Bongo Bongos. Is it Bongo Bongos? Bongo Bongos. There you go, check the Bongos. Bongo Bongos. Apo Island. Wow. Get yourself out there. <laughs> the Philippines is a truly beautiful place. With a population well over 113 million people. But just 20 of those decided to get together and build a homemade theme park. That's where we're heading to now. As always, I'm on the back, getting thrown around by Richard on the bumpy roads, purposely going through the potholes, I swear. We're heading into the mountains and we've got dark clouds ahead. Oh, we've got a bit of road again. It's a bit of a teaser. Finally. It comes for a few hundred meters and then it goes back to off-roading. 
And like we've told you before, one minute it's raining, one minute it's glorious sunshine. As you can probably see behind us, it's nice and clear sky. And when we set off, it was absolutely beautiful. And now we are just driving into pure darkness. That's the only way I can describe it. and show him which beat him to it because I know like he always does the intros and speaks and I never speak that's what he says so I'm here yes it's me <laughs> I'm it's, gonna regret this I am the sure takeover <laughs> <laughs> we are at Santa Box Eco Adventure Park and we have got a bobsled to slide down on coconut tree husk and we've got a spider web to climb we have got Lover's Lane. Lover's Lane just over here on the left, which Richard's heading there right now to go try and some, find some local Filipino. And the final one, you'll find out. <laughs> Come to join at Shaw out here on the Spider's Web and Trust me, this is not easy to walk on at all. Made it to the centre of Charlotte's Web. Crawling like a dog. I made it to the end. This guy's putting on a brave face. The man's just setting up the giant swing. Shaw is going first. He's just strapping her up. <laughs> He's just put a seat belt on. He's just gonna let it go, in her. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna see me down the bottom. <laughs> there she goes, she's getting pulled up. He's just double checking she's <laughs> She's clipped in. <laughs> Health and safety and all. Is pulling her up from the, to the top. <laughs> <laughs> She's right at the top now, and that is a long way up. <laughs> that got a good. How you feeling, Jeebus? Not looking forward to this one bit. <laughs> Shaw has just well and truly put me off. <laughs> He's just, just tied in a knot across my stomach. Bye! Oh my god. My heart is pounding. Okay! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> 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 That's funny. Yeah. Didn't think you had quite a good enough square then. No. You're going up again. No, you are. <laughs> oh, if that wasn't bad enough, I'm strapped in still and they're not getting me out and Shaw is sending me up for another go. Because she thinks it's so funny <laughs> and I'm absolutely hating it. <laughs> oh no. Oh mate. I don't even know where to hold on because I'm just strapped in across the waist. Why would she do this to me? We're up in the hills. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're about there. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Whoa! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god, this is madness. 
<laughs> what is Charlene doing to me? This is torture. Oh God, that initial drop, your heart just goes, oh, sinks to the bottom of your stomach. Oh, I can't even swallow. So now we're going on this contraption. Looks like a comfy chair. It does for when you hit the bottom. It's just oiling the track. So we get some real speed. Shot is getting in the front of this one. Just strapping us in. Got my Recaro Sparco bucket seat. Now I am nervous because I've seen at the bottom of this and there is just a tire at the bottom. That's why I've put Shah in the front. Oh no. Go! Oh. Okay. We're going down. Oh no, what's up? 